What's up guys, it's Chad Schlager from The Wellness Point, your chiropractor. Just wanted to do a quick mental exercise with you guys. A mental exercise, not a physical exercise. I know sometimes getting your heart rate up and having to sweat, most people are allergic to. So here's a mental exercise. So on a piece of paper, write down the numbers two, four, and 12. And each of those numbers is going to represent years. A two-year goal, a four-year goal, and a 12-year goal. So in two years, you plan on doing whatever that is. It might be health-related. It might be uh, maybe you wanted to start a business, but uh, you know the kids were not in school, so you didn't have time because you were at home running around with them. And now that they're in school, <clears throat> now they got soccer, basketball, football, and all of their extra you know curricular activities. Now you still don't have time. I, I say that as a joke because. All those were, all, all that delayed time that you chose not to take action were just excuses. Um, so the four year goal is gonna take twice as much time and effort to finish and the, and the 12 year goal is gonna take three times as much time and effort as it does to complete your four year goal. So as you go down that list, those um, goals should get bigger and more extreme and they should almost make you a little bit uncomfortable when you're doing it. So. Um, <clears throat> the reason I do 2, 4, and 12 and not 1, 5, and 10 is because I feel like people uh, overestimate the result that they want to do, but they underestimate the amount of time and effort that goes in to being able to create that and allowing it to happen. So when you write those things down and you're looking at them, <clears throat> if you didn't yet, do it or at least have like a mental note in your head of maybe what those things could be and then you can go back later and you can think a little harder about it but is it safe to say that you're probably going to need a little bit more time to finish those things yes is it safe to say that you're going to need a little bit more money to finish those things obviously right but what's the one absolute thing that you need to keep and have to complete those goals? It's your health. There is no way that you can complete a goal in the future when you don't have your health. But unfortunately, people don't prepare for that. So five out of six Americans will get heart disease or cancer in their lifetime, and that heart disease includes hypertension and stroke, <clears throat> and all types of cancers underneath the umbrella there. Five out of six Americans, 84% of us, will fall to some type of diagnosis. That means only 16% of us over the course of our life will avoid that, 16%. And if you're in a town like mine, in Elkhorn, Wisconsin, there's two or three nursing homes here, and there's not a single empty bed. And if you were to ask those people back in their 50s, back in their 40s, hey, was it your 12-year goal? Was it your 20-year goal to end up here? I guarantee you every single one of them would say, no way. I wish I had more time in order to avoid this. <clears throat> so d the fact that you're listening to this right now and you're actually having a chance to write these goals down, here's the thing. You have the chance to turn this all around. If you're going in the wrong direction, you still have time. You're not like those people that are spending $120,000 to $150,000 per year just to get someone or something to get them up and keep them moving and functioning throughout the day. So <clears throat> without your health, you really don't have much anything. There's errors in judgment and blind spots in everybody's life. Just like you can say, you, if, if, if I smoked a cigarette today, here's the, here's the crazy thing about errors in judgment and blind spots, is if I smoked a cigarette today, tomorrow, I guarantee I would be fine. I wouldn't have cancer. I wouldn't be coughing. I could do that for the next five years and I might be a little bit short-winded when I'm exercising, but I, I wouldn't express cancer, okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't get lung cancer. So my brain and my fragmented belief system would tell me it's not hurting me. And if I do that long enough, I'm gonna be going down a path that I'm gonna get completely, completely derailed. Just like people cannot say, it doesn't matter if I eat genetically modified food or organic food. It doesn't matter because day to day, I don't feel a difference. But you compound that over 30 years, you're gonna be going in a completely different way than the people who chose another path. 
People cannot say, I'm gonna live my life subluxated with a diseased spine, and I'm gonna somehow be able to be like 16% of the population that don't end up with heart disease or cancer. I'm gonna avoid the nursing home by not taking care of my health from the inside out. You just can't do it. So if you don't have any time right now and you don't have any money, you can still have your health. So uh, six o'clock this Wednesday, we have orientation class. If you do not understand the inside out principle of health and how your body is designed to heal, function, perform, and operate, um, that class is for you. It's free, we're not gonna charge you anything. It's just gonna be me talking for about an hour, hour and a half, explaining things. If it's congruent with your belief system and it's something that you wanna add to your lifestyle to help change the direction so that you can obtain those goals in the future, um, comment in below, you can RSVP. If you're watching this on YouTube, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got some uh, pretty cool material over there to help your mindset and make you think a little bit differently. Um, and if this video was not for you, great. I'll try to get you next time. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye.